Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ale. I go by Dapper Shop on Poshmark and eBay. I'm a full-time foodie, part-time reseller. So today I went thrifting to two stores. I got quite a few good pieces. A couple designer. The rest is kind of like mid-tier and kind of like a bolo brands. So I think totally total items I got was a little bit over 23 items. And average cogs was about six six fifty, give or take. So let's get started. First item, I might just keep for myself if it fits. Just this nice, basic white, kind of granddad collar, mansion collar, uh, button down. And it is by the Couples. This was originally $13.99. Next one I might keep for myself is this guy. They had this priced at $12.99 in their boutique section at this uh, store. But from first look, I thought maybe it might have been a Lululemon because, you know, this like faded color. But even better, it's a very faint, you might not be able to read it. It's kind of like a very unassuming brand not a lot of people know I feel like not a lot of people know this website so it's Mr. P which is Mr. Porter so Mr. Porter Mr. P this is 100% cotton made in Portugal so Mr. Porter for those if you're not familiar with it picture a uh, anthropology for men's stuff so they do a lot of uh, higher end men's brands as well as their own like house brands. So picture, if you're looking for like men's stuff, try to find like good men's bolo brands, I say go to their site, as well as try Huck, Huckberry. <clears throat> Next guy, 11, uh, $11.99. This I'm gonna probably keep for myself as well. It's this nice Taylor Stitch. Not Taylor Swift, Taylor Stitch. Size 42, which is like a large, extra large. This kind of nice, Overshirt, shack, uh, denim jacket kind of uh, button down. Perfect for thought uh, over some just uh, joggers and just a little t shirt underneath. So, those three for myself. The rest of these I'm gonna, probably going to sell. So, another item, men's items, $6.99. Again, Taylor Stitch. This guy, I'm, I'm, this guy I will sell just because I don't like the cut of it. It has this weird, like, Side pocket, which I'm not a fan of pockets on my sweatshirts. But you never know. It's kind of cool with them. A lot of their stuff has like little cities or something inside it. So it's like a Terry, French Terry, whatever sweatshirt. $14.99. This nice navy kind of knit stretch dress with the eyelet details on the bottom. And it is... A woman's size 8, and it is Acres Punto. It's only really wear is just the tags coming undone, and just a few little snags on the outside. Just needs a sweater shape. Next guy, another second one of the uh, designer pieces, eleven ninety nine. Just this mesh uh, top with this kind of stretchy jersey bottom and it is Moschino. This is kind of like a mid-tier line of theirs but it's the Moschino jeans line and it's a size 10. Next guy, $13.99. Just this kind of short all, if you want to call it, like strappy mini dress thing thingamajig and it's mage size 2. So it's lined in the inside. So the uh, Ramoa and Caramel color, or sorry, Caramel. So it looks like it's a newer piece just because it has styling. Next guy, 11 and 9, this I was excited about. So it's kind of like this knit material with this kind of like textured floral, florally 
accents with little uh, eyelet sleeves. And it is Red Valentino, which is a subline of Valentino. Sadly, I can't figure out the size, but I know it is real because it has the tags me inside to show the authenticity. So Valentino no Spa. Oh, size medium. Yep, so size medium. Looks like it's just a cotton cotton shirt. Uh, shirt or cotton dress. Next guy, six ninety nine. This is a brand I never usually pick up, but uh, this kind of looked interesting. Kind of gave me very streetwear vibes. Coming up, it's Adidas. It's a women's size large. I think this is called the Intasarsi sweater. From what I see, from what I saw quickly. Next guy, twelve ninety nine. Based on the style, you might know it could be one of two brands. So it says bandage style bodycon dress with the back zipper. And it is Hervey, Le Hervey Legere, size extra small. So this guy looks in great shape. Yes, yeah, size extra small. It's just a rayon nylon blend. Next guy, six ninety nine. This I'm gonna probably send off unless anyone thinks it, unless I think it should sell in fall. But it's just kind of belted khaki skirt, and it's by Mainline Anchors, so higher end, and it's a woman's size twelve. Next guy, twelve ninety nine. It's kind of navy purpley color dress with this nice little bow in the front. And it is Machino again, but it's the lower line again. So Machino cheap and chic, but I'll still pick it up. This guy is a size 10 as well. And this one is a silk blend. Next one, $8.99, this nice lime green kind of color. Racerback tank, uh, pickleball tennis dress with the uh, lining with the inner skirt skirt so it's lined and it is girlfriend collective which is and it's a size extra extra large so this brand still sells for me if i price it right i feel like that's how everything is this guy's 6.99 i guess i got based on style and then it was new with tan so it's this pastel ombre rainbow dress and it is by unique vintage and it's an extra large. Okay, four ninety nine. This I'll probably sit on for a while, but it usually sells for me. This brand, so it's this kind of sheer camo exposed seam women's pocket T-shirt. The brand is NSF. This is a size small, made in USA. And it is just 100% cotton. Next guy, $6.99. This I need some help with, if anyone knows this brand, because comps are crazy for this, all over the place. So it's this nice, kind of like, orange brown colored blouse. So it's this was new with Tag. And it has a couple quick couple different tags on it but the main brand is Bian Bianco Bianca Gihikishio whatever you want to say I don't know how to say it and it's size 42 whatever that means in their sizing but yeah made in Italy it's probably one of those like uh, I have a feeling it's probably one of those uh like TJ Maxxy brands, in a sense. But looking it up, there is people have this priced up decently. So we shall see if it's the, that's the case, or it's just like a higher end boutique brand, maybe that I don't that I've never heard of. But this kind of gives me like very minimalist vibes. Next up, five ninety nine. If you know this uh, this style of the sleeve, you might know already know who this is. I've never found any non dresses from this brand. 
for, I found my first dress from this brain last time. And it is Hunter Bell, size extra, large, uh, extra small. Next guy, six ninety nine. These I might keep for myself if they fit. This is these nice uh, men's corduroy button fly pants. And the brand is Sid Mashburn, which I've heard about this brand and I've yet to find it. Now I have. And then now uh, we just have two things left and we're done. Next guy, just a pair of sandals. These were $16.95. Just a pair of suede, kind of crackled leather strap. These are in like light new shape. And they are Pedro Garcia. These are size 39 and a half. And the last but last thing, $12.94. Just a pair of heels. They kind of they're kind of quirky. I feel like they had the nice little glass loose like heel. Hello, hello. With this like terry cloth lining, and I think it's like a leather strap in between. These are size seven, and these are good American. So good American, made in Spain, size seven. I have sold all of my good American shoes I, I picked up. So yeah, that is everything I got. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you later. Bye.